If you vote nationalists on Thursday, you are voting for Tories. You are voting Never. Never. We've been at it for 40 years. The party's got to the stage now that it's taken for granted. We just go on fighting. I'm not a Tory with a 12-bore shotgun. I'm not a Tory with a knighthood. I'm a Tory like them. I believe in private enterprise. I'm against socialism. Support your local candidate, your independent Scottish Liberal candidate, who in turn backs up the Liberal Party 100%. This is too big a slice ever to be stopped, so we'll just go on fighting. Oh, when he's going back in. Oh, when he's going back in. At Hamilton's household auction, the bargain hunters were there as usual. They got a bonus they didn't have to bid for in a speech from the Labour candidate. The auctioneer knocked down a great many lots before giving up his rostrum to Alex Wilson. The man who at a by-election in 1967 was beaten by the Scottish nationalist who overturned a Labour majority of 16,500. Mr Wilson is now confident. I have only one thing to sell in this election. Only one thing to sell, and you have it for nothing. You only require two strokes of a pen to have the services of a socialist candidate from Thursday onwards, who is prepared to serve the ordinary man and woman in this constituency, who is prepared to say he's the voice of the constituency in the first place, who is not prepared to say that he's a fibre speaking for the people of Scotland. Because you can take it from me. You can take it from me. If you vote nationalists on Thursday, you are voting for Tories. You are voting for There's a defiant belief among her supporters that Mrs Winifred Ewing, the sitting Scottish nationalist, will hold the seat for the party. Mrs Ewing thrives on cheerful greetings. Her motorcade, whip up interest, and she has the best songs. But both Labour and Conservatives say their supporters, who deserted them in that legendary nationalist victory, won't be voting nationalist this time. It's a lonely life for a candidate who isn't savouring the acclamation of crowds and the hopes of committed supporters. Harry Taylor, the independent Scottish Liberal, is virtually a one-man band, driving his loudspeaker car, preaching Liberal policy without official Liberal backing. And he seems not to have heard of Jeremy Thorpe. The sensible way, the Scottish way. Follow Joe Grimmond, follow the Liberal Party. Support your local candidate, your independent Scottish Liberal candidate, who in turn backs up the Liberal Party 100%. In this shopping centre, the Conservative Ross Harper spoke for 10 hours on his soapbox. The British record, he says. I certainly am, yes. I wouldn't vote for anything else. That's very kind. Oh, well, he puts his potential vote at over 11,000 and says the fight is between himself and Labour. He's looking for support in untraditional places. Thank you very much indeed. I'm spending all my time in the housing schemes, the vast housing schemes where they've never seen Tories before. In the jungle in Hamilton, a vast housing scheme, no Tories set foot there. I'm giving them leaflets, I'm giving them campaign songs, and I'm going to meet them in their back gardens. I say to them, I'm not a Tory with a 12 bore shotgun. I'm not a Tory with a knighthood or a landed member of the landed gentry. I'm a Tory like them. I believe in private enterprise, I'm against socialism, and I believe that we can get through to the people by meeting them in their territory and ignoring the wealthy. For the Scottish nationalists, the winning of Hamilton was a famous victory. In this election, they're fighting 65 of Scotland's 71 seats. Success in elections is measured in seats won, and this time they also have something to lose. With this big effort throughout Scotland, how will the party take the setback if Mrs Ewing goes down at Hamilton on Thursday? Well, of course, we're, we've been at it for 40 years. Obviously, I'm not going to say it wouldn't be a tremendous blow. But the fact is the, fact is the party's got to the stage now that it's taken for granted. We just go on fighting. We're too big now to be stopped, you see. We've had as many as a third of the total votes cast. We're, whatever happens in Hamilton, we're going to get half a million votes. And uh, out of a population of five million and about half of those voters, this is too big a slice ever to be stopped, so we'll just go on fighting. Throughout Scotland, the Scottish nationalists are campaigning with hopes strengthened by that win at Hamilton. But most people feel that after Thursday, they will, as Mrs Ewing says, just have to go on fighting. Leonard Parkin, News at 10, Hamilton.